Hello again everyone, I'm here with Greg Smokler from Teradek and um, we've just been taking a look at some of the new RTs, the Teradek RT products that they've just announced at this show. Greg, what have you got in your hands? So what we've got is the new Control One, which is a single axis wireless lens controller. Uh, it's built on the Latitude platform, which is a more advanced uh, hardware and software platform um, that we're now expanding um, with the Teradek RT product line. And what that gives us is a bunch of extra intelligence in the, inside the controller to let us do some really cool things, um, like connecting your controller to a small HD wireless monitor. Um, that is nifty. Right, so um, we've, we've built the ability to do really accurate lens mapping into this hand controller. It's actually the first one axis hand controller that has super accurate, um, you know, professional grade lens mapping. Yep. Um, what that means is that you can take any lens, um, create a lens table where you memorize the markings on the lens, save it into the hand controller, and it translates it into these pre-marked focus rings. Ooh. So each of the RT control ones that come with uh, lens mapping, you get five different uh, distance rings depending yep. on the range from the camera that you're kind of generally playing in. Cool. Um, it goes from <clears throat> 10 inches to 10 feet yeah. and uh, 0.25 meters to I think about 3 meters. Uh, pardon my uh, inferior measurement system. <laughs> and then the cool thing that, that's new and I don't think anyone's doing this is that we've added a sixth ring Mm -hmm. which is an iris ring. So on a lot of bigger productions, the cinematographer or the DIT mm -hmm. has a, a side, excuse me, <coughs> has an additional hand controller just to control iris. Yeah. Um, but currently most of the uh, single channels out there, they, they don't have lens mapping. Yeah. So with us, you get to use one iris knob and just change your lens in the Ooh. menu. So you, know, you don't have to carry a whole big rope with about 50 different lens iris rings. That makes sense and then it automatically remaps it depending on the markings. On the exactly, the without the doing markings. anything. Uh, the other cool thing is that it, having the lens map uh, stored in the controller lets you also integrate uh, data back and forth to the ter uh, Teradek yeah. receiver equipped small HD monitors. Cool. Actually any small HD monitor can now show you lens data overlays. So it will mirror the lens uh, data settings that you've got physically on the knob, on the little display here, and of course on the lens itself. So it gives you a fighting chance to stay in focus um, without having to look like one extra eye position uh, as, you're, as you're trying to stay sharp. I imagine that's going to be really, really convenient for like rehousing vintage glass where you may not have a standardized mapping, so you'll just be able to create your own custom table. Exactly. So um, as long as you have the lens itself mapped, you know you can es expand it and change the you know the range of the curve that you're cool. be playing in. <clears throat> the other cool thing is the new motor that we've got. Yeah. So. We have a new motor, we're calling it Motor X. It's a super fast motor. Yeah. Um, and obviously it's also strong, but the important thing is that it's really responsive. So, you know, you can rack really fast, nice. but it's also, you know, so quick that it really feels like your hand is touching the lens. Very cool. um, super, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Now, I was just saying that you were, you were doing really, really, um, fast focus pull, and although it's quite loud in here, I really couldn't hear the um, motor at all. Sure, so um, one of the things that RT is known for and really focused on is making uh, nearly silent lens motors, so they're brushless motors, they're super lightweight, and that continues with this, you know, really fast uh, super speed motor. Nice, and notice it's daisy chainable as well. Yeah, exactly, so um, <clears throat> another, you know, attempt to clean up the camera, less cables, you can run one lens cable out here and loop it down the line. It will also work with the existing um, RT Motion Teradek RT lens motor, but you know that has to go at the end of the line. Yeah. And it also has a little uh, button with um, indicator lights to quickly switch the motor's 
axis that yeah. it's controlling, so you can quickly switch from focus, uh, iris, and zoom axis, yeah. uh, and, and just kind of keep shooting. And that makes it super, super clear, so you now no longer have to guess which motor to disconnect, reconnect, exactly. as you're changing lenses and changing out glass. Very, very cool. And I noticed something has won the Best in Show award. Yeah, I guess they just handed us this. Um, looks like the integrated lens mapping video overlay won oh. an award. Yeah, I can see completely why, and I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing these on set fairly soon. I hope so. Thanks very much, Greg. Cheers.